Hi there, traders. Welcome to Currency Watch. It's European close. Let's take a look at what we have going on. Last night, I had a long in the Aussie, New Zealand, and the Euro. Each trade closed out to break even, but I'll give you a look at what I was taking a gander at. As you can see, actually, let's go back to the, uh, as we can see, the dollar index has been going up on a straight line, and I was expecting, still expecting, a bit of a pullback, at least down to this 99 level before it continues to push higher. Things don't shoot up and go in one direction. That's, uh, that's just not the nature of the beast. So in the Euro USD, it seemed like a pretty good combination to go long here. Go long yesterday at the 107.42, uh, just placing my stop below this low, placing the below the below the uh, low from the daily candle. Actually, the trade would still technically be open if I hadn't moved it to break even, but I did move it to break even because at one point we were up. Um, uh, I was up over 60 pips in that trade. Uh, and then with the retail sales coming out today, it closed it out. But in long, uh, long story short, I'm still looking for an opportunity to go along this pair with my stop below the 107 level. And I'll keep a look at the uh, close today tomorrow see eventually we're going to get a bounce and the initial bounce i'd be looking up for is the 108.50 level the aussie usd um the Aussie USD uh, in this pair, the setup I had been talking about for quite some time at the 200 day moving average. Uh, we shot up relatively quickly to the 107.80 level, up about 40 pips in this at the trail pair, but then we had data and the pair slowly but slowly but surely grinded closer, grinded slower, slowly lower to close the cross out. I still favor a push higher at this point, uh, holding the 200 day moving average, pushing back to the top of the range, but we'll see what happens there. There, and I will be keeping my eye out for another uh, scalp opportunity to go long. Um, and the New Zealand USD, same boat, 200-day moving average, but we had a cross of the 50-10 moving average, which it looks like we have also in the Aussie. But I, ha I would have more interest in uh, looking to go long the Aussie USD than the New Zealand USD, but if both these pairs give up their 200-day moving averages, I will consider... Um, going short. And actually, I won't consider. I will go short these pairs, uh, looking for a continued push lower. But at the time, for the time being, I like the setup at the 200-day moving averages, and I'm going to continue to look for opportunities to jump in looking for a, a scalp a scalp higher. Uh, right now, my target would be around the 72 level in the New Zealand USD, and in the Aussie, it's going to be all the way up at the uh, 76. Well, that's not that far of a move. It's actually a little bit closer, but around the 76, 76.50 level. Um, Let's take a look at the Euro JPY as I showed, talked about earlier uh, on the blog that the pair has broken out of this range that it has been in forever, two, three months. Uh, now that we're above this 116 level, I'm in order to go long at 116.50, stop below today's low, and looking for a push up initially to the 200 day moving average, which is right around the 119. Uh, one, uh, 119 sorry i was just distracted by something uh, the 119 level um let's see the great britain pound usd this pair uh this this pair uh, has been pushing higher moved up on the relief rally to the 50-day moving average with the trump trump uh becoming president a feeling that the usa and the UK can move closer to help assure uh, better trade amongst the two countries and less fear about the Brexit exit. Uh, right now, I still favor a push lower, but it's all about this 123.50 level. If we get a hold of the one, if we get a break of the 123.50 level, I will consider going short. What I would like to see, though, is a push up to this 128 level to go short there. But all in all, I do favor a continued push lower in this pair over the long term. The USD JPY. Um, with bond yields going up in the U.S., this pair just keeps pushing higher, not chasing at this point. I still have my order in at 107.40. We get a push down to that level. I'll be happy to jump into this cross, looking for a push towards this 112, 111, 111.50 area uh, in the short term. The let's see some other pairs. The uh, USD CAD. This cross has been pushing back, moving back towards my mean uh, target, which is the 10-day moving average. I have an order to go long at 134.34. It looks like, hey, we're only 20 pips away from that area right now. And uh, we'll see in the short term, oil prices are rising uh, a bit today. So that's probably leading to this um, to this push lower in the cross, but we'll see. Uh, if we get in the 134, it has a nice uh, uh, stop loss relatively close, 40, uh, 44 pips lower. And I'll be looking for initially for a push back over that at 136 level. Uh, let's see, Great Britain JPY. 
you can see that we have that daily cross and I would like to see just like the USD JPY a pullback to the 10 day moving average to see a continued push higher up towards the 200 day but I'm not going to chase right now at these levels the pair has come quite a quite a way I mean it's moved all the way from about the 127 up to the 135 level over the last few trading days and we should see a pushback towards the mean uh, gold on the other hand has been consolidating and probably should continue to consolidate I would expect a pullback to the 1241 level in the short short term. So once again, looking for in the Aussie and the Euro and in the New Zealand opportunity to go short for short term scalps, looking for bounces for the Aussie New Zealand off the 200 and the Euro just for a short term push after the down <clears throat> move down to the 107 level. The CAD have an or order uh, active right now at 134.34 looking for a looking for a pullback to and more only about 20 pips away euro JPY looking for a pullback to the 11650 level for a continued push higher expecting JPY strength here and uh, the USD JPY sitting around at 10740 level all right that's it everybody have a great trading day talk to you soon